What's up, freaks? It is Saturday, Suffering Saturday, and it also happens to be September 11th. We're out here suffering with a few of these Project Freak Show graduates. Yep. We have, what's your name? What, what's your name in class? What class? The fucking specimen. Zero one zero. 007, Gallardo. Those 007 guys, they're so fucking cool. They say, oh, I'm class 007, like they're fucking <laughs> spies or some shit. Well, I could give you class X. 10, zero, Class zero. 10. So these are, these are guys from the project. Now, let me tell you something. Let's start off with the fucking specimen over here. Mm -hmm. When I first met this guy at the hotel when we picked him for the project, I literally wanted to fucking get him out of there as fast as I can. I couldn't stand this motherfucker. And look at it. Two weeks later, you're at our house with the families, hanging out, having a good time, fucking suffering on a Saturday. Did you think, did you think, 10 hours into the project, you'd be here a week later hanging out here at this house right now. Absolutely. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, because he's a fucking specimen. I like it. I like it. What, what has it been like for you so far as a graduate of the project in just the last couple of weeks since you graduated? What's it been like? What, what impacts it had an immediate impact on your life in just those quick couple of weeks immediately showed up back home? Big focus in my faith. Bigger focus in my faith. Strong focus in my family. Huge focus on my fitness. Stronger than when I started hour one, and definitely a big focus on my finance, as well as fulfillment. That is fucking awesome, and in a short amount of time. Like, it's, how long, how long has it been since you graduated? It's been a couple of weeks. About 16 to 21 days. And you're already recovered? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want motherfuckers recovered that quick. I gotta step up my game. That next class, class zero, whatever's up next, you're fucking done. Because if he's already able to do a suffering Saturday workout only two, three weeks after the project, I'm not doing my job. So. Class 11 that's coming up in November, you're fucked. Isaac, what's it been like for you so far since you graduated the project of, in, from the standpoint of just having, being part of the brotherhood and being surrounded by just like-minded men? What's it been like for you to be part of the brotherhood? How long has it been since you graduated now? Uh, six months, uh, so, exactly. So it's, uh, it's been life-changing. Uh, stepped up every, every aspect of my life, my fitness, finances. I mean, I thought I was already a, a fitness freak, but it's no, no compared to uh, the project. So, I mean... Every area in his life, in my life, has stepped up, uh, and uh, I mean, how many how many guys did you know in the project? Let me go closer. How many guys did you know in the project before you joined that were actually in there, like in the, that have graduated or whatever? None. And in the last six months, how many times in person have you seen or got together with anyone from the project? How many times did you say? Oh, I mean, at least twice a month. I'm getting together with somebody to do something stupid or freakish. Stupid or freakish. There's no other way to do it. Stupid or fucking freakish. And then over here, Joseph with a Z with from a Z. just graduated also a couple weeks ago. What's been the immediate impact it's had on you, your family, your relationships, your just life in general in the last couple weeks? Man, everything. Purpose, way up. Focus, way up. Biggest takeaway I had is always bloody well be prepared. Always be prepared. If you're always prepared, you're always ready. If you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your fucking A game. Always on the A game. Good stuff. Tyson! Here comes the mini freak. Victor Crawford there. He was a uh, graduate of that class, zero, 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 003, I think. He's in there. Crawford tore his Achilles with like uh, on Thursday and had to go through the whole next day. We just wrapped a bunch of fucking duct tape. We just taped a shoot wow. to shoot to his leg, Dang. and he made it through. Fucking savage. Another one. I tried my best. To beat that man down, Victor Crawford. I mean, I tried, and he just wouldn't. He just, he just kept a smile on his face. I was like, nope, can't break this motherfucker. So, the project, if you're yeah. looking to level up in your family, your fitness, your finances, your faith, send me your private message. Let's talk about it. Let's jump on the phone for a quick interview call to see if you are a good fit for the program. See if you have what it takes to join the Modern Day Night Brotherhood. Hey, Little Freak Show, anything you want to tell them before we sign off? very normal child i can't imagine where he gets it from i will talk to you later in case no one told you yet today you are fucking awesome no excuses